Let's talk about two things we look at when we're evaluating tonsils. First, the size of the tonsils. Very large tonsils are often a sign that the airway may be obstructed and indicate the need for further intervention. The color can also give important clues as to the etiology and potential treatment plan. The top picture is showing severely inflamed red tonsils. In the bottom picture, you can see the color is more tan. The top picture reflects an act Active infection. However, the bottom picture suggests chronic recurrent inflammation to the point that the tonsils are scarred. We also have to consider the growth pattern of the tonsils. Sometimes the tonsils are exophytic, they're growing into the airway space. Other times they're endophytic. Some of the tonsil tissue can be seen in the airway, but a lot of it is buried deep into the throat space. There are things that we can do to prevent tonsil inflammation from from getting worse, but when push comes to shove and the tonsils are chronically hypertrophied, inflamed, and scarred, the research shows that these tonsils no longer have active innate immunity the way that simple hypertrophic tonsils would. Here's an interesting research article about the fact that simple hypertrophic tonsils still have the innate immunity, but by the time that they're chronically inflamed, they're no longer providing the good immune function.